The day of a show um, is usually me frantically panicking about everything I need to do. Um, I'm an extreme perfectionist and control freak. <laughs> so I usually make a big deal out of nothing, but um, it challenges me and it makes me who I am and I constantly have to one-up myself. But a day of the show is more me panicking than anybody else. <laughs> but I just do my own kind of meditation, which is I put my makeup on, I do my own makeup. So that's a, that's a step. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me make one thing clear. If you want to keep on running your mouth, wasting my time, then here's what you gotta do. Come on, give it a kiss! Hey Young Hollywood, it's Ivy and we're here at the Bootleg Theater. The Bootleg Theater backstage is pretty chill. There's like an old ass piano. I don't know how to play the piano. I used to, but I'm sorry, I can't do some Ray Charles for you. Sorry, but it's old. I mean, I think, I think every woman has a story as far as their, their love life and their relationship. And when I write songs now, they used to be about, you know, falling in love and lusting and, um, you know, being in that puppy, puppy dog state. Um, now, being the adult woman that I am, I write about the breakups and the afterlife and how to regain confidence and revenge and the hate and the sadness. Um, it's just very honest who I am and I think, I think every woman can relate. Swamp Hop is, um, is basically a dirty, gritty, dark, funky texture, kind of like the swamp, but translated in music. So that's where that came from. And I'm from the South, so it fits, it makes sense. That's a, this is a tattoo I got recently in Detroit when I was visiting some friends. Um, it's the Queen of Swords, the tarot card. I used to be really into that kind of stuff when I was younger, witchcraft. Not saying I was a witch, but I like to read about it. But uh, it, if you if you read the definition of it, she's she's me. She's she's me, <laughs> the Queen of Swords. So look it up. This ring, actually, this girl hit me up on Instagram, and I just thought they were really dope, so she sent me a bunch and fell in love with it. I think this one's called like a Moon Gem or something. My lipstick is a secret. I don't give out my lipstick secrets, but. <laughs> I can tell you that it's a mat, and it might be made by someone that rhymes with Pat Von B. Um, I mean, I've gone to vocal coaches to help me prepare before shows and learn how to properly do warm-ups and make sure that my voice has longevity and I don't just blow it out, you know, after the first tour or something. I mean, growing up, I did a lot of um, talent competitions and pageants, anything that I could get my hands on just to get in front of a crowd and, you know, steal the show because I was quite the little showboat. Um, if I could tell my fans one thing is that I am a person just like everyone else. I have flaws and insecurities and, I, you know, I feel vulnerable and sad and upset and happy and sad and that these these songs that I write are my stories and I hope that they can also take them for them to be their stories and help them through anything. So yeah, that's one thing. I'm not I'm not a bitch, I promise. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go perform. Thank you so much for watching my Young Hollywood Backstage Diaries.